Good evening. My name is Elena Simeone and I'm going to talk to you about playground safety. When it comes to choosing a playground, many people don't really think twice about where they're sending their children, but it is important. And it's very important to parents and teachers that their children are safe at all times. Playgrounds and outdoor play equipment offer kids fresh air, friends, and a lot of exercise, so why wouldn't you send your kid to a playground? I can give you one reason. Safety. So, of course we're going to do it anyway, but we need to check out all of the areas before sending our child. It's important to make sure there's no faulty equipment, improper surfaces, or careless behavior that ruins the fun. Each year, more than 200,000 kids are treated in hospital ERs for playground-related injuries. Many of these accidents can be prevented with proper supervision and proper care of the children. Proper playground surface is one of the most important factors in reducing injuries and the severity of injuries. Of course, if your child falls on rubber, they'll be less injured than if they fall on cement. So, the surface under the playground should be soft and en thick enough to soften the impact of a child's fall. For example, if your child was climbing up the stairs to a slide and they fell off, would you rather them fall on cement or rubber? Of course rubber, they wouldn't be nearly as injured. Things you shouldn't have, as I've stated, is pavement, cement, broken glass, sticks, things like that. Things that you should have, a thick rubber surface. This is the safest way that you could have a child playing without getting injured. Playground equipment should be designed for different age groups, infants and toddlers, five-year-olds or preschoolers, and five to 12-year-olds, which would be considered school-age children. On the safest playgrounds, play areas for younger children are separated from those meant for older kids and signs should designate clearly which area is for which to prevent any confusion among the children, the parents, and teachers. Younger children should not play on equipment that's designed for older kids, and in return, older kids should not be playing on equipment that's designed for younger kids. I know many parents take their children, multiple, to the park together or to the playground. This is okay, but please keep in mind the safety precautions when you do this. If you're having your two-year-old play in a playground that is meant for five years old and 12-year-olds, it might not be the safest decision. The equipment is going to be too large and it could be potentially dangerous. Whether your kids play at home or in a public playground, it's important for you to take a general look at all the equipment before sending your kids to play. An idea that is very helpful is checking the playground out in advance. Whether it be an hour or a week in advance, you know for your own sanity and for your child's safety that the playground that you chose to take your children to is safe. Whether your kids are going to be running laps around a field or going up the slide, you should check out all areas of the playground. There should be no broken equipment. Wooden equipment should not be cracking or splintering. Metal equipment should not be rusted. And the fence surrounding a playground should be in good condition so that the kids won't be running out of the fence or running into oncoming traffic, even worse. Everything should be clean and well-maintained regularly so that even if something goes wrong, it's noticed immediately and fixed. Playground equipment should be made of durable materials that won't fall apart or will be worn during poor weather. A checklist is very helpful when trying to figure out what playground is right for you. You can find these checklists on the internet or in various books. The checklist I'm going to read is a playground safety checklist for application. And I'm not going to go through every aspect of the list, but this will give you an idea of things to look out for when you're going to a playground. As I stated before, Traffic is always an issue, so look for playgrounds that are located far away from heavy traffic, loud noises, and sources of chemical contamination. Try to have play areas that are located adjacent to the premises that you're at or within walking distance that's fairly safe. Play areas should never be poorly drained. They should be well drained with no puddles. Bathroom facilities and a drinking fountain are easily accessible. That's always a plus when taking your kids to begin with, and it's also safer. There should be a variety of play surfaces. For example, grass. As I stated before, some children don't really like to play on the playground equipment, so they like to run around or maybe kick a ball, so it's important to have grass. It's also important that there is shade. That way, when your children are on the playground or in the grass, they can have a spot where they can get out of the sun when it's hot. Because most of the time when we are playing on play equipment, it is when it's a sunny day and it's nice out. Be sure that the play equipment is in good condition. As I said before, nothing broken or rusty. 
and if it is, report it to who should be concerned. The selection of the play equipment is appropriate for children's ages and developmental skills. Large pieces of equipment are stable and anchored securely in the ground. And as I stated before, something very important to me is that the play areas are enclosed by a fence at least four feet high with a gate and a workable lock. This is for the safety of the children, the parents, and everyone at the playground. It's important that your child won't get out of the playground, but it's also important that you can see everyone coming in and out and that you won't be worried about what's happening with your child. This is also a big concern for if there is a large highway or road, heavy traffic anywhere near. I know I stated before that it's not the best idea to go to playgrounds that are near heavy traffic, but sometimes you might live in a town that's full of heavy traffic and there's not really many options. That way, when you have a fence that you know is secure, you'll feel much safer being in there with your child. Playground, choosing a playground should be easy, but it's not always that easy because safety always comes first when it comes to our children. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching.